The next seven star terror raid event featuring Samroth the Unrivaled was just announced, and I'd like to go over some possible counters to it. Let's get into it. So this Samurott is Terra Bug, so all the Pokemon here are going to either resist its stab types, so bug and water, or they're going to be super effective against bug and water. So I've got four possible counters for this thing that I thought up yesterday. Now I'm going to be going from least accessible to most accessible uh, for these Pokemon. So first up is Karadon, which I'm going to say is only going to be accessible to half the players because no one's going to want to trade away their spare Karadon for good. So this is for the Pokemon Scarlet players. Uh, if you're playing Violet, just move on to the timestamp on the screen right now because uh, this probably won't apply to you but if you do have a Karadon I think you should look at this so as you can see it has the Shell Bell item which restores an eighth of the damage dealt uh, whenever Karadon attacks and the strat for this is pretty much the Maradon strat for Decidueye you use bulk ups you use screeches and then you use flare blitz until you can terrastalize once you terrastalize you use terra blast because then you're not going to be taking recoil damage from flare blitz i'm also thinking maybe like a different f uh fire move like a different physical fire move maybe fire fang uh if i'm not i'm not gonna say flame charge maybe fire fang if you don't want that uh if you don't want that 33 percent recoil from flare blitz but I thought this thing learned Fire Punch. It doesn't. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> it. I just put Flare Blitz on it because that was the best one I could think of. You could put Fire Fang. I'd have to do some testing to see which move is best. All right, so here we have Golden Go, which probably a lot of you have now. Um, I'm going to say this is the second least accessible just because of how much time it takes to get 99 Gimme Ghoul coins. So for this one, it's just your classic Golden Go strat. You use Nasty Plot, you use Metal Sound, and then uh, Make It Rain or maybe Shadow Ball if you want to uh, lower the thing's special defense once it terrestrializes. Just make sure it's Terra Steel uh, so that you can still get that bug resistance. Well, I guess you could still keep the bug resistance, but you get Double Stab on Make It Rain when you're Terra Steel, which makes it just absolutely broken. Also for Karadon, Terra Fire to get Stab on Terra Blast when you Terrastalize, and also get Flare Blitz uh, Stab when you Terrastalize. So the next Pokemon I'm going to go over is Cerule Edge. It's going to have Weakness po Oh yeah, uh, Golden Go also has Shell Bell for recovery with Make It Rain. But Cerule Edge has Weakness Policy and Weak Armor. So what Weak Armor is going to do it's going to uh, lower defense by one, but it raises speed by two. And weakness policy raises attack and special attack by two stages if it's hit by a super effective move. So if this Samurai uses Razor Shell or Hydro Pump, it's going to activate the weak armor ability because it gets... Well, if it gets hit with Razor Shell, it's going to activate the weak armor, and then also it's going to activate weakness policy because it's going to be uh, super effective, the Razor Shell. Or Night Slash. It could possibly have Night Slash as well. So you're going to get, if you get hit by either Razor Shell or Night Slash, you're going to get plus two speed, plus two attack, plus two special attack, uh, but also minus defense. So you'll just have to look out for that. And for its moves, I'm giving it Sword Stance. So I think we do Sword Stance turn one. And I checked, and this thing will outspeed Samurott. I don't think Terror Raid Pokemon are EV trained. Um, and even with max speed IVs, Cerulege always outspeeds Samurott with zero EVs. So uh, you do Sword Stance, and if it uses a water move, you use Disable on it. Especially if it's Hydro Pump or uh, not Hydro Pump, if it's uh, Razor Shell. If it's Razor Shell, use Disable, because this thing is going to be physically frail. And then you just use Light Screen and Bitter Blade. That's it. Bitter Blade is going to heal up your health, 50% of the damage dealt. It's going to be insane. So this is, this is kind of more of like a more of an out there kind of pick. I know... Um, 
I've tried using Cerule Edge for raids in the past, and I know it hasn't been that good, but hopefully with weak armor weakness policy and disable plus light screen, it's going to be really good. Um, maybe, I don't know, I, I'd still have to test it when the Samurott raid comes out. So yeah, maybe this will be good, maybe it won't be good. Um, and if you're playing Scarlet and you can't get the uh, malicious armor, all you have to do is just trade with someone. It's not that hard to get um, armor rouge, so I'll put the trade code up on screen right here. Um, this trade code will allow you to trade armor rouge for Cerule Edge if you're in Scarlet version. So the, this Pokemon basically is not version exclusive. All you have to do is trade with someone online. It's super easy. So the last Pokemon I want to talk about in this video is Dondozo, and this guy's going to be built more for survivability, which is why I gave it a high HP, high special defense stat with leftovers. And it it's going to be basically what you're going to do is you're going to spam curse and you're going to spam chilling water. That's what you're going to do, um, especially to spam chilling water when it's terastalized. Um, you're also going to be, you know, using waterfalls before it's terastalized, using rock slides to hit super effective damage. And I'm actually going to change its Terra type here to Rock. So that it can hit that Rock Slide uh, for Stab. Now, that will make it weak to water moves, but I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. So the strat with Dondozo again is just spam Curse, spam Chilling Water, use Waterfalls, uh, use Rock Slide when you Terastalize to do uh, super effective Stab damage on the shield. And then it has Unaware, so what Unaware does, it ignores all stat changes, uh, or I guess all beneficial stat changes to the opponent. So this Samurott is probably going to be carrying Sword Stance, so once it uses Sword Stance and its attack buffs by two stages, this Dondozo is not going to care. It's, it, it's going to be unaware of the Sword Stance, so uh, what it's... What's going to happen is that Samurott is basically going to be attacking the Dondozo with a plus zero attack stat. It's really good. And if this Samurott somehow lowers Dondozo's attacking stats or its speed or its defenses or anything, it's going to completely ignore those. So Unaware is going to be a really good ability for this. Um, and again, just goes for that survivability aspect to it. I don't know if it ignores the speed drop. Um... I, yeah, I, I'd have to look that up. When I'm editing, I'll put up here if Unaware ignores speed drops, but I don't think it does actually, uh, now that I think about it. But yeah, I, I honestly think Cerule Edge and Dondozo are going to be like the two kind of like weird, like niche picks that maybe work once or twice. Uh, but honestly, I think Golden Go and Karadon are going to be the two winners of this terror raid battle so again this is just speculation here on my part um maybe when the raid comes out all of this is invalid and i have to come up with a whole different strategy but that's that's the whole thing about speculation but i know i have these four pokemon here that i'm gonna be testing out when the raid comes out and just so you guys know this samurai raid is gonna be running from March 31st to April 2nd, so that's going to be, um, for me, it's going to be March 30th, 8 p.m. EST to April 1st, uh, 8 p.m. EST. You can adjust time zones from there, and then it's going to come back April 6th, 8 p.m. EST to April 9th, or, uh, April 8th, uh, sorry, April 8th at 8 p.m. EST, so you can adjust those times to whatever time zone you have. Um, so basically it's coming out in exactly two days as of the uploading of this video. So get your Paradons, Golden Goes, and Cerule Edges ready. Uh, if you need to know how to EV train and all that stuff, I've got a video actually right, it's like right at the, right at the top, up there, um, at, in the iCard, uh, I have a video on how to train Pokemon for Terror Raid Battle, so if if you don't know where to start, start there. Uh, but other than that, I will see you guys when the raid drops, and uh, hopefully one of these Pokemon works as a solo Pokemon.